I'm going to deliver a speech on prevention of avoidable complaints from the governed, the weak, and the vulnerable by the incoming Ihedioha administration. First and foremost, the life and content of any administration lies on the character and of vision of the governor-elect, in this case, Right Honorable Emeka Ihedio. It is in this and his character and vision that will set and define the narratives of that administration. Gentlemen and ladies, it is a notorious fact that when the righteous are in authority, the people will rejoice. But what if the righteous are not in authority? What happens? Thank you very much. And that is why I'm here. The first thing to talk about the incoming administration that will enable them to prevent avoidable complaints as follows. First, we must identify and come to terms with the strength and weakness of the incoming governor. And when you do that, you will be more prepared to judge him and also to look at what he is coming with. For some Imolites who have had close contact with the governor-elect, the verdict without sounding immodest presents him as a young man who has a burning desire to restore order, due process, and good governance as a key for socio-political and economic development in the state. To some, he passes as a young man in a hurry to change and challenge the status quo with a new narrative of a well-structured template for good governance as opposed to the makeshift approach noticed in the recent past. However, to me, I see a man who has studied and practiced the use of organic power with a passion, a man who is conversant with the architecture of power, a man who knows the potent use of power with a corresponding responsibility. One of my advice will be. The governor-elect is hot-tempered, but is not wicked. So he must watch it, so as not to hurt others while correcting their actions for the overall interest of the state. The governor-elect is over meticulous and wants orderliness and sanity at all times. He must make allowances for foolishness, because foolishness sometimes is a relaxing ingredient of life. He must, the governor elect is too prudent to a fault because he abhors waste. He must allow minimum waste so that the wasting and the wasted in the society can once more have hope and enjoy as a result of that waste. He must balance life's demand for perfection and seriousness with social life and enjoyment because all work and no play will definitely make the governor a dog dog. The governor-elect, from my own personal interaction with him, trusts like a child on first impression. If you meet the governor-elect for the first time, he will trust you like a child. And he will hate you as a jilted lady lover if you betray him. So the governor-elect, if you are listening, or anybody here will tell you, tell him that I said he should placidly study people and characters before you trust. Because your decision will always affect the state and not you as right honorable Mekki Hedion. The governor elect believes that everyone should be like him and do things the perfect way. So many may never do it even if it is for their own interest, particularly people above 40. 
and they are many here. He must therefore make allowance for the inherited imperfection and the quality of education, home training, perception and understanding by all manners of persons from different backgrounds and circumstances. It is my prayer and belief that the God who gave the power to this coming administration has a reason beyond our comprehension. I therefore wish the incoming administration an unending passion for service so that at the end, that reason will end in praise. Thank you for listening. Well, my name is Willie Amade, a barrister. I'm the Federal Commissioner, Public Complaints Commission. Okay, uh, barrister, what would you say uh, just happened here today? Well, what happened was um, a deliberate and conscious effort for Imolites to have a review of the past government and also advise the incoming government. Okay, um, would you say uh, that has been achieved? Well, it was achieved because the information was passed on and it was well received. And I believe that those concerned would appropriately deal with the issues raised in this okay. uh, uh Personally, personally, your personal opinion, what I mean, what, is, what are your expectations from the incoming governor? Well, uh, from my assessment about the incoming governor, I believe that he is going to do well. It's a man who has a passion for excellence, even in his private uh, dealings. He's a young man who is in a hurry to change the narratives and um, ensure due process and good governance. It's a man who is quick to achieve results. Thank you very much. You're welcome.